Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey, everybody. Here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be looking at what I am affectionately calling Castle Row <laughs> back there in my our medieval layout. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video, any of the videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's see what I've been working on in my castle section or Castle Row <laughs> after the intro coming in now. And here we're going to take a look at the updates I've made to Castle Row, as I am uh, temporarily calling it for now. And we're going to start with my Blue Lion Knight's Castle. And full disclosure, I didn't do anything to this. It's exactly the same as it's been. I guess the only little minor change is the lions you see back there i'm gonna put a little lion's den back there so because they're the blue lion knights and they're gonna have uh that's the animal they're gonna have because the rest of these factions tend to have some kind of animal and next up we have the red dragons but uh here's a little look at what the work i have done around here but the red dragons they're like my evil castle faction and you know they have two dragons and they have a really powerful military and they have black monarchs castle back there and those uh, towers are some towers that I just mocked together many moons ago you can see they have a second dragon back there and I have some smaller castle sets back in there as well and then here's my evil jester. He uh, hangs out at Black Monarch's castle. They are definitely a fearsome bunch. Um, one of the most powerful forces in all of my LEGO collection, to be honest. Um, not number one, though. I'd probably have to go with um, Mordor and Sauron's forces and Lord of the Rings would get that title. But here is this uh, tower here that came in the 2013 Castle Wave and that um, I still kept kept it together and keep it out there in front and and here's a little carriage that came with them like I said the, the red dragons have a lot going on and then as we move on down the path uh, which the path is what I just uh, one of the things I've been working on we have black knights castle and it is populated by the black falcons and you can see these red shirted black falcons they're out on patrol out in front of the castle that's going to be their job is to kind of you know be out in front out on patrol and here you can see the the more proper black falcons they're all on inside of the castle you know in their various posts and you know i just i love the way the the black falcons look in Black Knight's castle and you can see the Black Knight there who is the commander of this force and he's over there in his little house and he's got his horse and his top general right there hanging out with him and um, I'm gonna have to find some kind of falcon or something to give these guys because they need some kind of animal since all the other ones have an animal so I'll have to look into that but you can see hey, this is the way the black falcon setup is looking and again what I really was working on is these putting these base plates with it and getting a nice path to help bring it all together so it's not just castles sitting next to each other but actually help it make it feel alive and here is my green dragon faction and they're kind of a neutral faction sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad 
And then here's this little guy. Georgie made him, and he hangs out with the Green Dragons, although he's not an official member. He's just uh, Georgie's little night guy. Um, and you see they have a Green Dragon. They actually have two. They have a small one and a little bit bigger one. And he, there's a look at the smaller one. And then here's the inside of the castle. And this was the Creator 3-in-1 times 2, a mock we got off of Rebrickable. And it came together great. Uh, and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's uh, honestly, it's probably my second favorite castle, medieval castle in my collection right now. And there's the Green Queen, and she's the one that rules the Black Falk, or the Green Dragons, I should say. Sorry about that. And yeah, I like I said, I'm really happy with the way this all has co is coming together. It's, it makes me happy. And as we move on over, this will be my Crusaders or uh, Red Lion Knights, I suppose you can call them. You know, whatever you want to call them. And this castle here is going to go part, it's going to go all with all of this. I'm putting it all together. Um, actually, the missus is going to. I've been uh, waiting on her to put some time into this. And she's got some big plans here. So, you know, we're going to put a moat around this castle and everything. But for now, it's just kind of uh, sitting like here, waiting to, for some work to be done on it. And it's going to be out in front of our medieval layout. And, you know, there's Castle Row with the rest of my factions, you know, from this angle. And I'm just, I'm, I'm happy with the way everything's coming together. It's, it, I, it's been a, like, a good dream of mine to have all these different factions and all their own individual castles. And so, to see it starting to come to life is, is really cool. It makes me happy. And... I just, I just like uh, like how it's all turning out. Uh, you guys tell me down in the comment section uh, which castle or which faction do you guys like the best. And here, um, the Blue Lion Knights, I still have some ideas, things I want to do with them. Um, they don't have room for a full base plate, so I'm going to have to get a 16 by 32, a couple of those, and stick out in front of it. Um, to help uh, fill in the gaps there so I can get a path going up to the Blue Lion Knight's castle. But there it is. Here is Castle Row, everyone. Thanks for watching. So uh, I wanted a couple <laughs> of things. Uh, Macro says sick layout. And, and I wanted to say, all you guys, if you haven't checked out his uh, medieval layout, uh, Macro has a sick uh, medieval layout <laughs> as well. Um, he's really put some good time into it. Um, it's, uh, it's rather impressive. I gotta say, um, infamous comic says black monarchs have a black limousine parked in the back. Um, <laughs> no, that's actually, uh, that's a, a mock that Impal uh, it's an Impala from supernatural. Yeah. It's baby from, I don't know if you've ever from seen the TV show supernatural. Um, but, but we did a mock of that few years ago and georgie must have put it there <laughs> they move them all around <laughs> and that's actually that's harry potter it begins behind it so you know <laughs> i guess uh supernatural characters were going and visiting the harry potter <laughs> who knows what they're up to man. and thunder logger says uh, that is an awesome. That is awesome. People concentrating on oil, gas, crypto, precious metals. They're all sleeping on plastic gold, known as Castle Lego. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Infamous Convict says that is an epic castle collection. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, and that's not even all of them. Uh, I'm gonna have to do an updated castle collection video. Uh, those are just the medieval ones. Um, but we have the Disney Castle, we have the Hogwarts Castle. Um, well, we have Helm's Deep that tends to be considered a castle, and even uh, our mock of Tower of Orthanc kind of fits the castle. Well, yeah, because it's got we well. got double bat gates on it, so it's it's like a fortress. So yeah. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget we got merch store. 
If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.